Golly, it's a mess. I'm looking for my glasses. Have you seen them? I set them down somewhere. <laughs> um, it did sound like I said glasses, but I knew they were on my head. Uh, I was looking for my, I am looking for my galoshes that uh, I misplaced somewhere. Um, I took them off of my feet and then I just, you know how, what happens. You just set your galoshes places and you don't know where to put them. Uh, they'll show up. Does anybody wear galoshes anymore? I think, I think my dad had a pair when I was growing up. You know what galoshes are? The rubber, kind of rubber booties that go over your shoes. So when you're walking around in the winter time, you don't get your nice leather shoes dirty. People don't care anymore. They just get their shoes dirty and, you know, whatever. We'll buy another pair. Uh, well, I'm glad you stopped by to help me find things. Speaking of finding things, we're going to find a few more things to take off the Mustang. See what I did there? Finding. Anyway, uh, and then get it off the lift and uh, start working on some more things on the Cobra. We're building a car. I mean, how cool is that? I love it. Oh, well, I guess let's get started. It's not going to build itself.
Okay, now what I've all been waiting for. We can get back to the uh, Cobra, get the tin on, the tin, the sheet metal, whatever, uh, in the cockpit area. Uh, I've got the wiring harness from the car laid out on the floor in arranged kind of in the way that it was in the car. Uh, that way all my connectors are close to the ones they belong to. Eventually, when we get to that point, we're going to cut the harness open and, and remove some of the wiring and circuitry that we don't need, like um, the airbag stuff, the um, uh, remote, um, you know, whatever, keyless entry. There you go, thank you. Uh, that, that type of stuff, um, anything having to do with maybe the analog brakes, which I decided I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, let's keep this simple. Um, so all of that type of stuff, uh, the circuits that go to the doors, the unlock, lock type of stuff. So we'll remove that and things like that. But I'm getting ahead. I'm moving ahead because we're not there. Uh, we've got the, the cockpit tin to do. After that, I believe it's the gas tank that needs to get mounted. And then probably fuel and brake lines. We're like rocking along. I say that, we haven't done any of that stuff, but we're about to, hopefully, if I don't get distracted. So I'm in such a good mood now, I'll even let you pick the Segway music. Segway? No, it's not a Segway, it's a, yeah, you know, time lapse, fast forward. I'll let you pick it. So let's go. Uh, no. That will be a no. <sighs> Privilege is revoked. I would take you in here uh, a couple of things since you wouldn't be able to see it um, on the time lapse. Uh, the first thing is a thing that I'm glad I did and if you notice here I've got some sharpie marker wherever a uh, panel met. If you remember they had these pre-assembled when I got the kit and I had to mark you know, where the bracing was for holes and stuff. But I also put these marks so that when I am assembling it, I'm not guessing where it had been sitting. Um, there's a little leeway, but it, it, it's helpful. The second thing is I'll have to take this off because I can't get a drill to, to finish tapping those holes there. Not a big deal, but if, uh, you're doing this project, um, get it mocked up where it needs to go, but then put it back in the box because it's gonna be in the way. Uh, anyway, you know, it's always good to learn from someone else's mistakes. Uh, preferably not mine, but it's the way it goes. So I'm gonna keep on tapping and drilling and assembling. I just wanted to bring you in just to Take a look at that.
Whew. Well, that was about a very long day, day's worth of drilling and riveting. So just kind of as a, you know, way to judge how long things take, at least for me, uh, it took me a lot of yesterday and a little bit of this morning to do. But it goes together pretty well. You, you kind of want to test fit some things before you commit to the silicone and, and drilling, but it's, it just goes together. It's, if you don't like, oh, really? Is that what you're doing now? Okay. It's really just tedious. If you don't like tedious things, well, too bad, because it's tedious and that's what needs to be done. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and move to the gas tank. That's what's next in the directions. Um, as you can see very clearly, fuel tank. And they give you all of the directions and mounting. And then also, in the uh, beginning part of the book, they show you how to modify this so that it, it bends the right way. So, all right. I'm, I, there's nothing to do but to do it. Oh, yeah, I guess it's not gonna get done just me looking at it. <laughs> what was I thinking? As you can see, I went, uh, cleaned up the tank a little bit, cleaned up the electric electrical connections, put some dielectric grease in the connectors, um, and uh, cleaned up the filter, all that kind of stuff. So I guess, if you wouldn't mind helping me put this tank in, that would make it a lot easier. Um, I'm not expecting it, just so you know. Okay, let's uh, slide this thing in here after I carry it over. It would have been super smart if I had, oh, if I had, you know, emptied the tank of gas there is some in here, so uh, no smoking. Okay, let's see, what do we got here? All right, so let's back this up. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be good, okay. Okay, yep, ah, my back really felt great. That was nice. Okay, all right, all right, perfect. Okay, a little balance action going on. Nope, is that gonna work? Okay, maybe, maybe it's gonna work. We're about to see something truly incredible right now. Okay. 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 That's a start. Okay. All right. 
Well, that's something. to make sure I had all my hardware lined up, you know. It's not normal for me. Normally I get to this point and then I think, oh yeah, I need my hardware. Let's see. Speaking of hardware issues, um, It's more or less lined up, but I need different hardware. Oh, let's see. They say that, uh, you know, they included it in the kit, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. Where haven't I looked? Let's see. I think I'm going to need this. <laughs> nope. Five sixteenths. Well, we have these. I don't know. But actually, maybe these. Maybe these are for the. I don't know. All right, let's try this. <laughs> what did I say about, you know, thinking ahead and having the hardware I needed? Yeah. Now who's the idiot? Okay, here we go. Ho, 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 look at that. That is awesome. Hey, it's starting to look more like a car. It's got a fuel tank. Okay, um, what next? Fuel lines. Oh, fuel filter. I've got to mount that. So let me get to that. And uh, it's exciting. I'm excited. show you what I did over here. <clears throat> I mounted the fuel filter right here, the bracket. The directions had me mounting it on this rail and then running the line down that way. This is how it was oriented in the car and because I have these stock lines they don't want to bend that way. So to create less stress on the lines and everything I mounted it here 
in the factory location, and then I'll just have to route the lines down. Um, hopefully it doesn't add complication. I can always move it, but the problem is I've got a bend here that is, and also just the length of the line, is making it difficult uh, to do. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess with these lines. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. I mean, we will see how it goes because I'm about to do it. <laughs> and then, then we'll know if, uh, you know, I should have or not, so. All right, oh yeah, let me show you the lines over here. Uh, these are the lines they get, give you. Uh, they've got a couple of 5 16 lines and a couple of quarter inch lines with all of the ends and the, you know, the clamps and all that, so. All right, let us do it. Let me bring you in here, just see how far I've gotten so far. So I've got the one line run and bent, and I've just got it taped up here. I think I'm gonna run the other line, and then I will get them both mounted, but it just runs up the rail here, and then over where this line will, uh, will tie into it, so. Uh, they do supply uh, 100 PSI line. You just have to cut off the plastic line. Like this is a plastic line sheathed in a, in a rubber line. Um, and so these ends you just reuse, you cut that line off and clamp this line on there. So same with this here. So yeah, looks like it's working good so far and uh, we'll, run the return line back and see how that goes. I think we're gonna pump the brakes on this episode. And uh, speaking of brakes, in the next episode, we will install the master cylinder and brake lines and all of that fun stuff. Uh, I'm thinking right now, because I did look ahead at what was after the brakes, it might be Oh, it's wiring harness. Also, also fun. So <laughs> if by fun you mean kind of tedious in a way, but uh, once the wiring harness is in, I mean, we're like this close to putting the engine in, which means we're this close to firing it up, which means, I mean, you know, it's all happening. So. But we'll take it uh, one step at a time, uh, eating the elephant, and um, have some fun while we do it. So 
We'll see you next time. And uh, again, I appreciate you hanging out.